Hey, what's up everybody, Richard Gaming Guy here. Today I'm gonna show you guys how you can boot up Bodicera from an SSD without installing your SSD internally within your PC. All you need to get is a SATA SSD enclosure like I have right here. Simply install the SSD within the enclosure and then plug that directly into a USB port on your PC. All you have to do is just change the boot order on your PC and you're able to boot up directly from this SSD without having to deal with going inside of your PC and installing it within. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what the process is for getting this up and running and how I'm able to boot directly from this on my PC. So let's dive into it. All right, so here is our Sobrent 2.5 inch SSD SATA hard drive USB 3 enclosure. Here it is right here. This is how the box looks. This is how the actual enclosure looks. So you can see we have two parts in here. You slide the top off. Here we have our connection down here. And then on the outside, we have our connection that we'll use this connection cable for right here. One end plugs directly into this with the SSD installed. Other end is going to plug in through our USB connection on our PC. So I'm gonna show you guys really quick how to go about loading in your SSD. So here I have a 512 gigabyte SSD. This has Botticera on it. This is my guinea pig sort of build where I just do most of my tutorial videos from and show you guys around various uh, aspects of Botticera. So not a lot of games on here, just a handful, but we'll be able to demo this, show you guys how this boots up and what everything looks like within here. So we're going to slide this into place just like so. You can see where the connection is down here underneath on the bottom of your SSD is where the connections are gonna be made. You simply just slide it into place, line it up perfectly. It can only line up a certain way, otherwise it would be hanging outside of the enclosure itself. So just slide it into place. Once it falls into place in here, you know that the connection has been pushed together enough. So you don't have to stress out trying to push this in and sandwich it into place. As long as you clear the outside of the enclosure, you know that that connection is all the way connected. So this is just going to slide in like so. There's grooves on each side. Once you get down to the bottom, it clicks right into place. Really simple, really uh, straightforward there. So now we'll take our connection cable and we'll just go ahead and slide in our connection down here at the bottom. Now it's ready to go. This end right here is a USB 3. That's going to get plugged into the USB port on our PC. All right, so here is my Dell Optiplex 3010. That's what I'm gonna be using to make this connection today. So here's the other end. We're going to just plug that directly into the USB port on the PC right here. Plugs in just like that, right in the front. Really easy to access. And then I'm also going to take a keyboard, which I'm going to plug in as well. I'll plug that in directly below it because we do need to change our boot order in order to boot from our SSD. And now I'm gonna power on my PC and I'm going to hit F2 on my keyboard repetitively. And sometimes it's F2 that you wanna hit and sometimes it's F9 or F10, just depends on your PC. And that's going to open up the settings in here, which you can see now on screen. So now what I'll do here on screen is I'm gonna go over to boot sequence. Now under boot sequence, you can see we have all of these different options all enabled. And that's just giving our computer access to all of these. So if we wanna boot specifically from our USB storage device, which is how our SSD in this enclosure is populating in, we need to go and disable all of these other options. So we've gone and just enabled it to just boot from the USB storage device now. So we're going to go down here to apply and now we can go ahead and click exit. All right, so you can see that Botticera has now just booted up from our SSD. It's currently loading in, and now I can move over through all my different collections. I have full access to each of my collections now as well. So we are good to go. All right, guys, you saw firsthand exactly how easy it is to set up this SSD enclosure and get it up and running on your PC. Now, if I wasn't walking you guys through this and taking my time, I probably could have installed this and booted it up in under 30 seconds. It's really that simple and easy to use. I highly recommend it. I actually started using this because I've been doing a lot of videos on here, testing out the performance of emulation through Botticera on a number of different PCs. And I got tired of opening up all the PCs because some PCs are really easy to open up and install an SSD internally. Others are really hard, and especially if you're dealing with mini PCs or compact PCs, 
sometimes you don't have enough space within to even accommodate a SSD. So something like this, literally as simple as plugging in a USB connection and you can change that boot order and get your Bodicera build booted up in seconds. So highly recommend it. If you're interested in getting more information on this or picking up one for yourself, drop down to the description of this video. I put a direct link in there over to Amazon. That's where I picked up this particular one that I'm using here today. They have them in clear, they have them in black. Lots of great functions and features of these enclosures. So again, highly recommend them. Drop down to that description. If you guys enjoyed this video and you found this helpful for you today, be sure to hit the like button on the video. It's a huge help to me here on YouTube. And of course, hit the subscribe button so you can stay in the loop for all future videos here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. That's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll see you on the next video.